Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we're going to check out these new gorgeous hair extensions which honestly shocked me how good they are. They're absolutely, they feel amazing. They blend in with my hair absolutely perfectly which is funny because this was actually my second color choice. They were currently out of the ones that they had but these are stunning. I love them. So if you guys are interested in finding out a little bit about amazing beauty hair extensions just keep watching this little installation hair style tutorial video i just wanted to show you a quick way that you can do your hair using your amazing beauty hair extensions i'll put the information for my extensions up on the screen the ones that i'm currently using today and getting ready to unbag i absolutely love hair extensions i have tried different methods and i found that clip-in extensions are the best for me so the only things that you'll really need to do today's look are your extensions as well as a wide barrel wand. That's what I like to currently use, especially when I'm doing this and I'm taking a product that's very straight, whether it's my hair or the extensions and curling it up and doing a light curl in it, as well as a comb to help you part the sections. And you can also, if you don't have a hair extension brush, you can also use um, wide tooth combs. They work great. So my first little trick that I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to use the clip that I got with my extensions, this little gator clip, is I like to pull my hair up first. I'll try and show you guys from the back. And I like to start by taking one of the two clip wefts and flipping it upside down. So you're, if you're looking at it, the weft is completely upside down. And securing that into the bottom portion of my scalp of my head about right there. That way, none of my baby hairs that are under here are gonna show, so you don't see a shorter length where everyone knows there should be a longer length. So I'm just gonna clip that in there really quick, and this one does tend to stay pretty secure throughout the day, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Some girls will kind of tease their hair in the area where they're clipping in, but my hair tends to hold on to extensions really well, so I don't have to worry about that. And this bump that you guys are seeing will relax once my hair is down. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue moving on doing this without a mirror and pull up the bottom portion of my hair to where you guys can see that extension but also some of my hair sitting on top of it. And we're gonna go ahead and place all of these extensions in really quick. Since I still don't have a lot of scalp room here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my three clip weft. Once we get a little bit higher, I can conceal a longer clip. I'm gonna let a little bit of hair down now while I continue to apply the hair extensions. I'm gonna start with some of the longer wefts now. So I've got this beautiful four clip weft here. I'm gonna go ahead and center that in the center section of my scalp. Now I wanna go ahead and start building up the volume on this side of my head. So I'm just gonna casually part. I really want to find where the hair is still sitting on top of that other extension and I'm going to take my last biggest piece which is this three clip left and what I like to do is just get it as close to the face as I can without having it stick out and then when it comes to the side I like to go down at kind of an angle so that there's not a lot of extension sticking up at the end so it's hidden by all of my natural hair. And then we have a two clip that we can use on this side over here. So again, I'm gonna find the spot. I like using my fingers because then I can tell Phil where the extensions are and really make sure that I'm not doing myself a disservice by leaving too much hair underneath or not enough. So again, I'm gonna have this one come out a little bit further than some of my other extensions to give me that like side hair that I need. And then last but not least, we have these gorgeous one clip wefts. I think these are the most beautiful one clip wefts I've ever seen. They're nice and big and they're nice and full. I like to hide my one clip wefts over here underneath the other extension because then they're still on the side, but they're not super exposed. I have extremely thin hair, so I have to kind of play around and figure out where things are gonna fit. Now that we have all this gorgeous hair in, it's time to make it mesh with my own hair. My favorite, quickest, easiest trick is running one of these bad boys through my hair. Just remember to curl away from the face and don't burn your little digits. I like to get fairly large sections of hair and then fairly casually just wrap that around. I found if I like twist my hair as I'm putting it onto the barrel, it really does help hold onto the extension 
into the hairstyle so that it doesn't look disjointed for my own hair. Um, I didn't really mean to hold it that long, but that's fine. That's where we'll get started. Usually my outer pieces are more curlier than my inner pieces anyway, so it's just fine. From here, I just grab fairly large chunks and go around and curl away from the face. I'm just holding it for about six seconds, maybe a little bit longer. And now I'm gonna start on the other side doing the same thing, just kind of grabbing fairly large sections of hair and curling away from the face. And then all I do is just kind of run my own fingers through the curls so that it doesn't soften up too much, but it does soften a little bit. And it just kind of looks really natural and pretty. I absolutely love these hair extensions. Okay, so there's a couple more things that you can do from here. We can leave it down and we can keep these beautiful curls as they are. We could pull up a portion of our hair and do like a half back hairstyle just kind of leaving some portions down which I absolutely love as well alrighty guys so that is it for today's amazing beauty hair extension video if you guys like today's video please give me a big old thumbs up and if you're new please subscribe before you head out and speaking of new subscribers one of the things that I love doing on my channel is saying hello to my new girls so hello Christy Lee Caitlin and Christina Booker. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. I'm a dork who loves hair extensions and makeup and fashion and have found so much fun having the outlet in you guys. So thank you. And I guess that's it guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but I'll be back very, very soon. Till then. Bye.